Hey, are you stuck in a flow where you need to get the URLs of different tabs open in your browser? Then this is the video for you. I've made a flow that does exactly that. It looks like this. And what it'll do is that it will run through all the tabs that I have open, get the URLs, and then um, my example is just pasting it into a, a message box so you can see it. Let's just run it so you can see what it does. And then it pops it out like this. And here, obviously, you can do whatever with it, but, but this was just my example to showcase it somehow. So these are the links uh, of all the tabs that I have open. So without further ado, let's start building. So we need to do a couple of things. Um, there's a requirement to kind of start the flow. So the way for us to start it is to input a dialog box, tab URL as a title, press OK here. And then we need to provide it with the first URL that we have. And then this will then be our first tab and the button press. That's fine. We don't actually need that, so let's just take that out. From here, we'll launch Chrome, because I'm using Chrome. And our initial URL will be the first tab. And it's stored in browser. And we don't want to launch a new instance. We want to attach it to the running. Sorry. So we will just do it here. First tab, like this. Now. There are some browser automation actions that we can use, so we'll use those. Um, the one we need to use is to get details of web page. So we're attaching it to the browser instance, and then we want to get the web browser's current URL address. And we want to change this up to say first URL. So we have that captured in a um, in a variable because we need to uh, do a comparison on this in a minute when we start the loop so we don't endlessly keep on going but we only go until we hit the first tab again. Uh, from here we will create a new data table to put this in and we want to edit it and say URL. In this very specific easy instance we'll only just use um, one row and that's fine. And it'll be the first URL that we will create. And then we need to make a new list also and put this in. And that can just be list. That is fine. So from here, now we have kind of the basic and the variable set up. So now we can start our loop action. And it'll be a condition loop. And we just, we're just going to, initially we're going to set it up to be an infinite loop. So we'll just run forever and ever. And the easiest way to do that is to say, now I have looked around in the browser, browser automation uh, actions, but I couldn't really find anything that worked. Uh, so I had to be a little bit creative instead. And what I found is that if you tap control tab, then you scroll through the tabs. So there's a, we can do something with the send keys action where we press control tab and then we press F6 because then we get the URL and then we can send copy paste or copy control C um, for us to get the uh, get the URL. So that is what we're going to be implementing now. So let's use the send keys. And we need to put in first a control and then within the control, we want to insert the tab and that is hidden here. So it needs to be make sure that you put the curly brackets in the tab inside of the parenthesis otherwise it'll be it won't be correct because then it'll be control and a tab not control tab that's kind of important otherwise it won't work then we'll copy that and then we'll just do um as i said uh, f6 first and then we will do control and then in here we'll do control c just put it in curly brackets again and then afterwards, we need to make sure that we press escape. So we kind of let go of the URL escape. And that should do the trick. So that's good. Then we need to get the, uh, now we have it stored in the clipboard uh, because we pressed, we sent the keys control, control C. Um, so we want to get the clipboard text. And 
we do that by just using this get clipboard text and then we give it a variable saying current tab URL because that's the current tab that we're in and that's what we have stored here um, and then we launch a new Chrome and we attach it to the running instance by the URL and then we'll have the we'll use the one that we just made current tab URL browser to needs to be changed we can just change that to the browser because this is now updated and that's fine now what the reason why we got um, we did this uh, input dialog up in the beginning is that we needed to have the first tab uh, the URL of the first tab because we need to do an if statement now so we'll add an if statement and what we'll do is that if uh, the first URL which is what we gave the input on the pressed OK to if that is equal to the current tab URL which we've just created then we need to exit the loop because that means that we're then done uh, and then if this isn't the case so else uh, then we need to clear the list that we just created above so that's just the list we want to clear that and then we want to get the details of the web page that we're currently in Ooh. We'll change this up to current URL. That's fine. And then I just have to unclick that. That's fine. Um, and from here, we then need to add the items to the list that we've extracted or that we have. And that is the current URL that we just created. It needs to go into the list. Otherwise, nothing will be captured. Um, and then from here we want to insert a row into the data table that we have above so we can showcase this data table in just a second so the data table here is just the data table that we have here and the end of the data table is fine what we want to implement or what we want to input is the list as an ending and you can obviously do a lot of things here you can send the you can send the output or the captured uh, variable in the data table to an excel sheet you can formulate a mail based on it whatever whatever but right now just for for sake of um displaying it somehow we'll just display it in a message um, oftentimes these steps are more easy to handle and i'm guessing that you're here because uh, you didn't know how to loop through the different tabs not what to do with the output once you have it um, if that's the case, then let me know. Then I can also give examples of how to um, how to manipulate that and how to use that after the fact. But the purpose of the video is kind of to explain to you how you loop through the different tabs and get the URLs from there. Um, but from here, we'll just put a title, uh, call it a URL of the tabs I have open, and then we want to display a message which will, which will just be the data table. Table. I can't spell and this should actually work so let's see I have the first tab open with the Google URL and let's then run it from here so it gives us an input and we'll just say we can confirm that these are the two exact same so we press OK and now it starts running through I have to do washing yeah. <laughs> and it runs through and it runs through and now it's back and exactly as we was we were hoping for and what we built is that now that it's back to the first tab again it runs into the um whoop, it's here it runs into this statement saying that if the URL of the, fir of the first URL is, current to uh, is equal to the current tab URL, then we need to exit the loop and end it and then display the message. So that's what we've done. And the display message that we get is all of these links. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.